Lois and Amanda, we are at a park about seven minutes away from the high school. People came out here today to participate in acts of service and love, they said, in honor of those 17 people killed two years ago. Behind me on this stage in about an hour, we're also expecting a memorial to take place for those victims. Overall, people that I've spoken with today are in disbelief, not only that the shooting happened, but that somehow it's been two years. My name is Wendy Berend. I am the crossing guard for Stoneman Douglas High School. We were standing right there talking, waiting, you know, for the kids to come out, but this time they didn't come out and we heard the shots. The police started coming and the fire trucks and all of that and they asked us to get down on the ground. Those sounds, I can, can keep hearing them in my head, and I, you know, they brought out kids that were bleeding, and there was a triage right here set up. I can't fathom the feelings that people went through that, you know, two years later and it's still a fresh thing in everybody's mind. Science teacher was talking about how he was there and how scary it was for everyone. I come back because I love the children. I do it for them. They're my, you know, they have my heart. <laughs> And today, of course, a difficult day for the families of those 17 victims. I sat down with two dads who lost children in the Parkland shooting to talk about the anniversary, how they are coping with the extraordinary loss coming up on Wink News at 5. For now, live in Parkland, I'm Brooke Schaefer, Wink News, now. Uh, heartbreaking.